Good morning, everybody. It's a rainy Monday morning in the state of Illinois where I'm at, and I'm making cold slaw because I can't get in the garden. I made a Kentucky Fried Chicken inspired cold slaw this morning, or I'm making it anyway. And what I've done is I've shredded, I've used my food processor, and I've shredded um, a whole head of cabbage. And then I took some baby carrots. If I had carrots in the garden, I'd use those, but a package of those. And then I, down in here, I've shredded a whole onion. We love onion. Um, it doesn't call for that much, but I went ahead and, and added the onion. So what I'll do is kind of stir this around and incorporate this. And you can see I've got some chunks in there. I hope you had a good weekend. We had a good weekend. We modified the chicken pen and so we could get the water out easier. And that worked pretty well. And Hubby G made um, the door and I painted the door. That's what you call partnership. I have a wonderful husband. We've been married 30, 30, almost 38 years in July. And we were married uh, when he was 16 and I was 17. So I'm the older woman. So anyway, I took some mayonnaise, uh, half a cup of mayonnaise, salt and pepper to taste. A tablespoon and a half of lemon juice. It called for milk and buttermilk. I um, can't remember. I think it's a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of buttermilk. But I don't put that in there because it makes it too, as you can see, it's kind of runny now. And I don't like it runnier than this. And it calls for a third of a cup of sugar. Granulated sugar. You could put honey in. I use honey in a lot of things and salt and pepper and I'll list the recipe down at the bottom but um, anyway this is my cold slaw this morning I'm going to try to get this in here one handed could be kind of challenging <laughs> this morning Very challenging, I guess. It tastes sweet like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, I just vary the recipe to our taste. Um, it's a little bit more acidic than I like it with the buttermilk because, um, you know, that's kind of vinegary and the, the vinegar it calls for. A uh, tablespoon or a tablespoon and a half of vinegar. I'm sorry. I never go by a recipe. So, um, and I'm trying to do this with my phone. I wish I could get something different so I could edit, but I can't right now. And so anyway, this, my grandmother made this all the time. She always brought it to the family get-togethers. Or if we had lunch at her house, she always had coleslaw, so... I hope you guys had a great weekend and blessings to you all. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.